Hey guys, what is up? My name is Rusty from the Fin FM, and welcome back to my Football Manager 2016 series called the Finnish Legend. And last time we actually met, it was not in so joyous uh, moods because I actually suffered maybe one of my worst defeats in the history of Football Manager against really really good Barcelona team and the team was just destroyed after that match and i've been trying to pick up the pieces ever since and let's go see some of the stuff that has happened after that game uh, so there you have it uh 6-1 <laughs> loss to barcelona really 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 bad game and just terrible terrible stuff Lionel Messi with five goals and Neymar put one in from the penalty so that was pretty clear cut it showed us where the top top of the Europe is going uh, after that we were in an away game against Latina Calcio nil nil uh, not that great of a performance either but defense did their job in that game and we were able to secure a satisfactory result from there and yeah and it, well, obviously if you look at the whole I mean it's mostly green but you know there's defeats and draws every here and there and it's not so streaky as it was last season so this season is uh, proving uh, to be a bit more difficult than the first one with Sampdoria, but that's that's football and that's life. Uh, after that, we met one of the new teams, uh, Lecce or Lecce. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. If you are any Italians, uh, please let me know. Um, Three one at home, um, comfortable result. Uh, really, a game we were in control. Um, Lukic got injured, but we got goals from Melek. He scored his first goal of the season, so important. Uh, Barachi scored. Jonas Hoffman scored in that game. And 3-1, I was pleased uh, to see that we, we come back and we start building a new, new uh, form after that terrible uh, destroyance of Barcelona. Uh, after that, we met Sassuolo away, oh, Milik scoring again, and Defrel just scoring at the later stage of the game. Um, just basic, um, bad, bad, poor uh, play from our my central defenders. Sambinia and Mamala in that game, they played pretty well. Obviously, I, I fielded a uh, really, really young and second tier uh, lineup because the Barcelona, the second Barcelona game was coming up, but a, again a satisfactory result from that game. And then we played Barcelona again at home, 3-0, Suarez twice, and Neymar once. Um, not so much of a transition than the first game, but they just, you know, walked over us again and showed us what a top team looks like and how it plays and we were just watching the game basically so but we have met Barcelona twice so we probably won't need to meet him again this season so that would be good um, but today before we go into the match uh, today we're meeting Cagliari with Cagliari I, I love this because uh, if you ever was rich on Twitch and I sincerely and forced you to go watch him. He's, he's great. He says Calgary, and I'm a great hockey fan. And Cal he just makes me smile every time he says Calgary. If you go to YouTube, and go to his inter uh, series, and there there he is, Calgary. It's it's great. But anyways, go see Rich. He's he's awesome. Um, what I really want to say before that game that. We have had uh, Lalana has been injured, Grillo is injured, and I just lost Milik uh, for 78 weeks. And Bonzoli was away, he's only played like one game after he came back. So there has been some injury issues, and the, the fixtures have been really close. So had to like juggle the players around in positions they're not familiar with, and stuff like that. So 
it's been uh, let's say not difficult but there's been a lot of work and thinking how to you know put out things to make them work so hopefully we get a good result uh, against Cagliari today or Calgary as Rich likes to say it I'm sorry it's just so funny to me uh, hopefully we get a good result and we can continue building our form towards the end of the year but let's go see what we do right you can see that it's really cold in uh, Luigi Ferrari's Genoa 25,000 tickets sold to this game um, the referees Daniel Doveri uh, red card once but 38 yellows is a bit above the average of 3.8 with the 3.8 because it's around three and in this league and so the, there's a good possibility there, there'll be red cards in uh, no red yellow cards in the game in this game and as you can see Lazio has already played with Juventus a one all draw so that would mean that if we win today we're where we would be in equal points with Atalanta which has played a great season. Torino also. This, this, these guys are just being amazing. This has actually lost 3-0 uh, to Torino. So they've been playing really good football this season. Um, the coach or the manager for uh, Cagliari is Massimo Rastelli. He's 48 years old and he has spent over 1,000 days in this team. So he really knows how to make this team click and as you can see Cagliari is 15th at the moment with 12 points 3 wins 3 draws and 5 losses so we shall see how this will play out here we are at the starting lineups and this might look a bit different than last time I'm playing Geno plus 2 which is a pretty basic 4-4-2 at the moment uh, because I'm really I don't have what I want in the attacking midfield department. I mean, Lala is playing pretty good, but he's just back from injury. He's not in top shape. And uh, I really can't uh, find place for Edder. Uh, I, can't, I don't want to use uh, wingers at the moment. There's reasons for that. And, but Edder, you know, slots up pretty well with Bonazali as a false nine. And there I am playing him because uh, Zerucci is actually pretty good playing on this position. At the moment, he's training to be winger in, mid in midfield and he's playing really good, crossing great crosses, a uh, couple of goals from those pretty, pretty, pretty well there. So, yeah. Uh, my starting lineup is Viviano, obviously, at goal. Uh, Regini Mamana, Lopez, and Figueras. Mamana is playing because Grillo is being also is being injured for a while so Mamana has been playing uh, my midfield is Brace, Lukic, uh, Delaney and Zeruti <clears throat> I'm doing the rotation stuff here trying to get some playing time to Lukic and Delaney also for Kedira, Kedira played in the Barcelona match and stuff like that and my two strikers Bonazoli and Eder, Bonazoli playing the complete forward and Eder being the false nine today and my subs, Ristich, Agulani, Kresetic, Van Rijn, Sisto, Hoffman, Kidira, Eduardo, Torreya, Zambini, Lalana, and Masi. So those are my subs. And the visiting team, Cagliari's Colombo at goal there, playing with back three. Kramnic, Prestia, Salomon is the back three. Kresenzi and Almici are the wingbacks. Colombato, Decena, and Barella are the midfielders, and Success and Duris are the strikers. They're playing out with 5 3 2 wing backs. So interesting to see how we fare with our 4 4 2 against them. We are putting uh, Success, and hopefully, we're putting some marking on him, and hopefully, he is not a Success today. And also, gonna be hard on Duris um, I'm close down Barella I'm gonna close down Olmichi and I'm gonna start with that I'm just gonna go easy today and see what 
does because we, we we should be able to dominate this game obviously anything can happen and courtesy players go out and prove a point um we'll be favorites here so let's go with that and start the match and mamana regini regini still with the ball plays just forwards and omichi picks that up uh crescenti with the toro kranich crescenti broa plays it to the side omichi with a cross and isaac is there and he is a success straight away three minutes 54 seconds and uh Cleary is leading uh one nil and he just runs there right in front of the defender and puts one in and everybody is just waving their hands looking stupid and regini is getting a card okay regini with the troll bonazoli with the ball to delaney delaney shoots but that is way over bar um I mean, perhaps not delaney's best uh <laughs> treats are shooting not too much highlights here Omichi with a free kick, Crescenti to Colombato, to Barella, to Decina, to Barella, and Duris shoots and Viviano saves, and Laney picks up the ball and plays it to Eder, and he rushes forward, but Crescenti is there to pick up the ball. Regini with a throw, Bonzoli with the ball, Bracci, Eder, Zeruti, and 1-1. One, one. First goal season for Ezequiel Zeruti believe it or not uh, guys scored a ton last season but he has been had difficult times this year because of my tactical changes and the fact that he hasn't played that well and Columbad is getting a yellow card there okay Zeruti with a free kick I, I think that hit a post I didn't see who hated that but that Definitely hit a post. Bracci with a throw. Lukic, Bonazoli tries to shoot, but that is just way wide. Figueras to Eder, and that is cleared away. Isaac and Zruti gathers the ball. Bracci with the ball passes to Regini. Regini crosses, and Federico Bonazoli, ladies and gentlemen, ninth goal of the season. A, let's see if it's a header I can't I couldn't tell from that Baracci plays to Regini who is in full speed and just crosses with one touch and Bonazali shoots through the near post Go uh, goalie is pretty helpless there so good stuff and we turn the match around in just a couple of minutes which is really really good stuff and that <clears throat> that my friends is the first half so um let's go actually look how this 442 looks in the position uh table it looks like this and it really looks that i got a huge gap uh behind delaney which is something that they might try to exploit and that gap is still there so I don't know why why it's there because uh I'm gonna say clear his stats. Um Gabrella is doing pretty pretty good in the bassin department. Uh let's see some opposition instructions. Barella is he's closed down, so I'm just gonna type mark him anyways. But let's see our tactics. And Delaney is playing uh central midfield and in support role. And there's still a horrible horrible gap there so hmm I'm just gonna leave it be because we actually turned this match uh, somewhat to our favor already so we, we're gonna uh, start going out with this and he's gonna uh, Steen is already doing his proof of point stuff but we're going to go things are going well and you can be even better that's well, better option to my mind. Uh, Decina, Duris, Barella, Decina. Place it to Almichi, to Barella. Place it through, but Mamana is there and takes the ball. Lukic, Delaney, just 
and that's the end of highlight. Figueras with the throw, Figueras, Eder, Figueras plays the Zeruti, he shoots, and Kranich is able to block that to a corner. Zeruti with a corner kick, and Lissandro, I think that skimmed a bar. Isaac with the ball, but Delaney takes that away. Figueras with the ball, passes it to Eder, but he can't get the ball. Kranich, Borella, Duris, and Crescenzi plays it to the box, but that is cleared. Eder with the ball, running, plays it to Bonzoli, and he's through. And to the back corner is 10th goal of the season for Frederic Bonasoli. Great, great pass from Eder. And from the minute it looked like that he's not going to make it, but Salomon just triples on his feet. And Bonasoli says thank you and puts it 1 in 3 1 for Sampdoria. A good, good combination there from Ander and Bonsoli and Cagliari is already coming to our box. I'll meet you with a throw. Barella takes it out to Desina, shoots, but that is just wide. Uh, Lisandro with the ball to Lukic, to Figueras, plays it to Zeruti, enters the area and passes, but that is cleared away. Lukic takes the ball. Rachi to Bonsoli, tries to find Eder, but it is intercepting Isaac with the ball to Figueras. Uh, Eder can't get there. Delaney this is pretty bin bullish now. And Duris shoots, but Vivian smothers the ball. Regini Duris is going for the bench. And let's see some opposition instructions. Let's, let's see what they got. A, they brought in Marco Sau. And we're gonna close that dude down. <clears throat> and Sasolucic is uh, he's actually pretty tired, so we go to advanced tactics and see what we can do about that. I got Ristic, uh Agudlani, Krisitic, and also no he's not it's not there, look at Toria. I'm just going to put Toria in there, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put Toria in there because he needs playing time and he can play that position pretty well, he's actually somewhat better than Lukic at the moment, and the other thing is, uh, we'll get some, Brach is pretty tired, so he's going to come off next, uh, I'm just going to Toria that, I have faith in you man. Uh, let's go. Mm, they actually made substitution straight away. Wow, that was fast. Um, the genia. Mikal Chea came into the midfield and he's the center midfielder. I'm just gonna close him down. 67th minute. I think now it's the time for. Rachi to come away, so we have options. Um, um, condition Zeruti. Okay, we're gonna do double substitution. Jonas Hoffman is gonna come for Rachi, and Pione Sisto is coming for Zeruti. And this is some. This is what we're going to do the rest of the game with these guys. And let's see, I have faith, I have faith, and let's go. Zruti with the ball, and Crescendi with a foul, and let's see what is in store. A yellow card for Crescendi. Jonas Hoffman Sisto joining in for the last minutes of the game. Mana with a header, Lissandro, Taria, placed back to Viviano, uh, placed it to Sisto, to Delaney, to Figueras. And he plays it to Lissandra, Dittoria, Figueras, and Sisto with the ball, but he bad, bad connection there. He lost the ball. Hoffman, still Hoffman, tries to cross, but that is cleared. Delaney to Figueras to Sisto. Sisto shoots, but that is just wide from the near post. Uh, Crescendi with the ball. Isaac, and good, good save by Viviano, and that is cleared. Sisto got some space, but Crescenti takes the ball away. A bit 
too much speed and too little skill there. And Lopez gets a yellow card to Ria, to Figueras, to Sisto, who has pace, and for some reason he starts to suit, and Kranjic is able to block that. Sisto with a corner, Hoffman to Figueras. Figueras plays back to Sisto, and that's the end of Hyle. Figueras with a throw, Sisto, Eder. Still at her, Delaney plays it, tries to play it to Bonzoli, but that is intercepted. Crescendi with the ball, Piconucci plays it to Isaac, in, finds Sao in the middle, but great save from Viviano. Corner from Piconucci, and Delaney just heads that away. And Almici is injured, and they have the, all of the subs. Um, Probably the first time I see this that uh, AI team has used all his subs and some of the player is getting injured. I can't remember seeing that. Hmm. Well, that's a 3-1 against Cagliari and pretty comfortable result. I mean, they went, went on lead early on, but the team picked up itself pretty good. Um, the play with a basic 4-4-2 at the moment because I really don't have the players I want at the moment for what I want to do and if you look at uh, strikers Bonzoli two goals uh, Eder one assist are pretty good averages uh, Delaney 7.3 Lukic 7 Brachi 7.1 Regini 8.7 Mamana a bit leaving something to desire Lopez 7.2 figures 8.5 really really good overall results uh, so I'm, I'm pleased with this result and it was nice to see a new team in Syria and play against them so let's go see what we have in store for the next time so here we are Cagliari culture 3-1 and we're gonna we gonna think what we are going to see next a one a two a three a four a five we're gonna play wolfsburg in champions league away game might be decisive if we can you know continue with the champions league or continue with europa league or we drop out from european competitions so hopefully see you guys next time at there and if you like this video, please tap a like. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. My name is Rusty and this was the FinFM. I'll see you the next time.